dia. Seattle stand out. Welcome back, fellas, to the Sportscast. We got, I've done this first part of the NFL Top 100. We get 100 through 81, 80 through 61. Now we're on from 60 through 41, I think, and then 30 through 20, 30 through 11 in the top 10. So here we go. Corey Lindsley, probably the best center in the league. Packers to Chargers. He's now going to be protecting Justin Herbert. Huge pickup for them. Love Lindsley. All pro, five time, for a first time all pro, but he's been a beast. Uh, yeah, he's such a good, such a good center. JPP of the Bucks, a resurging season for him this year with the Buccaneers, winning the Super Bowl, being a great defensive player. I love JPP, two-time Super Bowl champion, three-time Pro Bowler, and um, yeah, he got snubbed last year, but this year he came back strong with those four fingers, got a lot of sacks, nine and a half sacks, and he's just a beast. Number 59, 58, Tyron Matthew dropping 19 spots. You know, him and Tom had some fights at the Super Bowl. Tom probably voted him. Nah, I don't want to vote him in top 30, so I'm going to put him at 58. Still had a great season for the Chiefs. He's still a beast. He had 100 tackles, 10 picks. That's pretty good. And uh, Matthew's a beast. He's a good safety, hard hitter, good pay interception. He has good zone coverage, good man coverage. He's a leader of that Chiefs defense, and they need defense over there in Kansas City. Matthew brings that to the table. There he is at number 58. 57, Cameron Hayward, a defensive tackle for the Steelers. He's getting pretty old. But he's still a big boy. He's climbing 27 spots from last year. He had a monster season for that Steelers. Great start. What, first 10 games there, 10-0. He was a beast. 10 run stuffs, 30 hurries, 46 QB pressures, 37 stops. And he's 32 years old. He had an interception first of his career. And I don't know how many sacks he had, but he was still a huge player for this uh, Steelers team. He's probably the best defensive player last year. No, TJ Watt. There's still some guys. But Cameron Hayward is still a very, very good player for this Steelers defense. And that's what's at 57 Cracks the top 60. Goes up 27 spots. Big time for him. Justin Herbert. Set, he's played one year in the league, guys. And he's already number 56. And honestly, I am okay with that. Because Herbert was so, so nice last year. Uh, he was he has the chance to be the man. He went off as rookie of the year. Um, yeah. He had crazy stats. Chargers were 7-9 and nine with him. This year, the Chargers are going to make the playoffs. Herbert is going to win. He's going to be an MVP candidate. I'm calling it. Justin Herbert is that guy. He is that good of a football player. I love Justin Herbert from Oregon. I hate Oregon. I'm a Huskies fan, but I love Justin Herbert, and I'm happy that he's here across the top 60 as well. In his second season in the league, you love to see it. And there's his man right there, Keenan Allen, his favorite target. Jumps up 22 spots, maybe the best possession receiver in the entire game. Four straight 1,000-yard seasons. I want a six spots hauling at least 100 receptions. Scored eight touchdowns. Um, he, he, underrated guys. This is underrated. He should be top 40 for sure. Keenan Allen is a top 10 receiver in this NFL, and uh, yeah, he is so good. He took up 22 spots. Should have been honestly, he should have been way higher, but he did miss two games, so that's a little bit fair that he's down here. But I love Keenan Allen. I love Herbert. This duo is gonna be here for years to come. I love these two guys, Herbert and Keenan. It's a great tandem, and they're gonna be beasts for the Chargers down the stretch here. Uh, I love to see it. Number 54, Grady Jarrett jumps up 37 spots. Um, the back to that Pro Bowler, yeah, he's been fine. He started off the season pretty slow, but he climbs back this year. He had a, quite a few sacks, 36 run stops, and, uh, yeah, he's a good pass rusher, good stop in the run. I don't know too much about Grady Jarrett. I saw the Seahawks had a chance to get him a couple years back. We did not. Now he's here, number 54 in the top 100, jumping up 37 spots. You know, like, cool, good for Grady, man. We'd love to see it. Justin Jefferson at 53. Um, I think JT is sli JJ is slightly overrated, but it's okay. I'm fine with him at 53. It was a crazy rookie campaign for him. Uh, most 20-plus yard catches, 1,400 yards, um, history books. Yeah, his legendary. That's insane. Heading to an offseason with the top 100 selection. Yeah, that makes sense. He has a good QB, the gritty, blah, blah, blah. He's such a fun player to watch. I guess he did break the record, but is he better than Calvin Ridley? Ah, uh, better than A.J. Brown? Ah, uh, I don't know. Slightly overrated. Better than Keenan Allen? Ah, uh, but you can say what you want. So I think J.J., is deserving to be top 50, but you, you can question if he's better than those receivers I just named. But it's okay. 52, Minka Fitzpatrick, maybe the best, a couple years back, one of the best safeties in the league. Dropped a couple spots, but he's still a leader of the Steelers' uh, defense. He's so nice. He was 35 last year. He's climbed to 50, or dropped to 52. So he'll get interceptions, 100 tackles, 4 interceptions, 11 uh, PDs. I don't even know what that is, but he's still a very, 79 tackles. He's still a very good uh, uh, safety. 
he'll hit hard, he'll get picks, he'll do his job. And then number 51, Zadarius Smith, the line, oh, outside linebacker, uh, thinks he's snubbed from the Pro Bowl, which he probably was, but he won, he got an all-pro selection. He had 50 uh, pressures, 30 among linebackers, 12 and a half sacks, which is huge. Crazy sack numbers for Zadarius. 23 QB hits and 12 tackles for loss. Zadarius Smith was a huge beast for the Packers. Their best fit to player probably, maybe Preston Smith, maybe, uh, I don't even know who else, but yeah, Zadarius is really, really nice. George Kittle goes from 7 to 50. A crazy drop-off. But it's because of the injuries. George Kittle is not the 50th best player in the league, guys. Trust me. George Kittle is a top 20 player. I don't care if he didn't play. 50 is so madly underrated, guys. He's the second best tight end in all football. He's a good blocker. I hate. I literally hate Kittle with guts because he's on the Niners. But he's. I give him credit where credit's due. He's top 20 player in the league. Sure, you can argue that he missed time. But, yes, he's in any IR or whatever, but he's still in, what, what, eight games? He had 63 targets, 634 yards, I mean, 48 catches, and that's good. Kittle is so good. I don't know what they're saying here. I mean, I guess missing time, that's the only thing That's the only thing you can say. He's way better than 50. That is ridiculous. J.C. Jackson, uh, overrated, but I guess it's fine. He's, sick. he's played all 16 games. He had nine interceptions, which was really nice. He played the league for a while. Kind of fell off after a little bit. He had 40 tackles. This isn't terrible. But um, he's he's good. He's he's, a, he's climbing the ranks. He's getting better. Oh my gosh, Salvador just hit a home run again. I actually hate Salvador Perez with my guts. Well, I can talk about that right now. Um, yeah, Mike Evans at 48. This is fair. Evans had a little drop off from last season. Even though they got Brady, he had worse. But they won the Super Bowl, so it doesn't really matter. No, uh, he had a thousand yards, 13 touchdowns, which is nice. He's a great red zone threat. Mike Evans is just that guy. You know Mike Evans. He's a beast. He's good. Mike Evans is like that. We got Stephon Gilmore ahead of J.C. Jackson. I agree with that still. Gilmore, um, he had one down here. You're going to drop him 38 spots. Definitely not. Gilmore is better than 47. He should be at least top 20. Stephon Gilmore, um, we don't know if he's going to be in New England, but he's he had COVID last year, but he's still the best pro bowler, uh, maybe the best corner in the league besides Jalen Ramsey. So this is Madly underrated. I do not agree at all. I'm not sure whether smoking there. Cam Jordan, great sacker. Uh, drops 23 spots. That's because he's getting a little up there in age. Had not as many sacks. He didn't have played in many games, but he's still one of the best defensive ends in the entire game. You got to give Cam Jordan credit. I mean, he's on the Saints defense, who's pretty solid, and he's one of those leaders, one of those guys that go out there to get you two sacks a night, a sack a night, give you five tackles, six tackles, a run stuff, a sack. He's just like that. Justin Simmons of the Broncos, the free safety. Simmons is... Simmons is great. Uh, I love Justin Simmons. He's a young guy. He gets picks. He does. He literally does it all. Nine six tackles, nine pass defended, career best five picks. Uh, earned his first Pro Bowler. He got a contract extension. He's played a ton of snaps, and he's just he's just he's really good. Justin Simmons is a great player for the Broncos. The Broncos fans have a gem at the safety spot here for years to come. He's gonna be leading that defense once Vaughn's gone. CMC at 44. Guys, he was injured, so he's gonna drop 38 spots because of an injury. Um. Yeah, he's he's still top 20, guys. But I guess this is based off of last season, so it's not terrible. But that's fair. He only had 374 yards and uh, six touchdowns, which is not great. He he only played three games. But I, I, since he played three games, that's fair that he's 44. But when he's healthy, guys, he's top 10 in the league. We got Levante David, another Buccaneers player. So many defensive Buccaneers players here. He goes up 57 spots. He had a crazy comeback season. He was so good. Um... Considered one of the best all-around linebackers. Uh, I'm not sure where he made the All-Pro. I don't know his stats really here, but he he guarded Travis Kelsey, which was huge in the Super Bowl. Levante David, great linebacker, one of the best in the biz. Trent Williams, maybe the best offensive tackle. People you can argue about it, but he he's he's great. He does his thing. He blocks for Jimmy G in that run game. Blocks for Uzcheck. Blocks for whoever else they have at running back. And uh, yeah, I love Trent Williams there. And Jay Alexander at 41, probably. Packers' best secondary player for sure. He goes out there, he gets picks. He might have missed a little bit of time, but he's definitely better than 41. I think he could be top – he's out of case for top 25. He's an all-pro. He missed a little bit of time. That's fair. So, yeah, this basically – this this part, that's that's it. But this part right here was basically a bunch of stars that are injured. So, like, Kittle should, would be way higher. Gilmore would be way higher. Jordan would be higher. McCaffrey would be higher. And um, Jair would be higher. All these guys are injury-prone guys that should be way higher. But, uh, yeah, that's fair that they're all here. I think that at least they're on the list. That's that's fair. And, uh, yeah, Gilmore, Madly, Underrated, Kittle. Yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.